Hi, my name is Rick McElroy, Principal Cybersecurity Strategist at VMware Carm Black. As 2022 begins to wind down, it is important that we not only reflect on the year that has passed, but also look to the year ahead from a cybersecurity perspective to anticipate how the threat landscape will evolve and how defenders can prepare for the attacks of tomorrow. In 2022, both the healthcare and education sectors were popular targets for adversaries. As increased amounts of consumers turned to telehealth to connect with healthcare professionals, have their prescriptions filled, and file tons of healthcare records. The door for fraud is left wide open for the cyber criminals to strike, allowing ransomware and deep fake attacks to continue to occur. Additionally, as healthcare increasingly becomes politicized, dark web activity and ransom demands will continue to rise as data becomes a gold mine for attackers. Adversaries know that if they want to inflict pain on an organization, targeting a hospital is the best route for destruction as a patient's life is on the line. Turning to the education sector, in 2023, state and private institutions will continue to face similar challenges such as ransomware attacks as there are security gaps that still haven't been addressed that they are currently working through. While those gaps exist, they continue to remain vulnerable to these cyber attacks. A lack of cyber security awareness and training, as well as limited funding and resources are creating the ideal environment for criminals to gain access to huge amounts of personal student data and research data from these institutions. Finally, in 2023, I expect the spotlight on CISOs to shine even brighter than before. The added legal pressures some CISOs now feel following high profile security leader convictions and whistleblower complaints are creating additional weight to an already stressful job. CISOs are tirelessly fighting for larger budgets in order to ensure that security becomes or remains a board level issue and an organization wide responsibility. This includes having open conversations with CEOs and CFOs about where and how funds will be used and the value improved defenses will bring to the organization as a whole. In the year ahead, the CISO role only becomes more challenging and will face more scrutiny as we work to balance the ever increasing stressors of the job while making an effort to maintain the positive work that has been done to manage the burnout of not only the CISOs, but the rest of our cyber pros that are out there. Today, I'm here on behalf of VM Blog to discuss my predictions for the coming year. One of the things that I found really interesting is that while the majority of enterprises have made a significant shift to the cloud, as a result of the pandemic, the majority of those enterprises still lack a cohesive digital workspace strategy. In fact, approximately 60%, according to recent surveys by Login VSI, in 2023, we will continue to adapt to the state of economic uncertainty, and it is critical to gain a grasp on this or there will be an expensive lesson to learn. The real cost of the cloud is finally coming into sight. Organizations are taking a reactive approach to spending. They aren't sure how much they need to spend, and therefore they are subjected to whatever their monthly costs end up being. Unlimited scalability also has turned out to mean uncapped cost. Failing to plan is planning to fail, and without understanding exactly what your requirements are, a wrong blend of virtual machines, storage, and networking could cost you up to four times what you expect. The appropriate due diligence is absolutely critical. Being proactive starts with understanding your baseline requirements. Organizations can then use these benchmarks to continually reevaluate their cloud requirements. Some organizations, one example Expedia, posit that the cloud is one place they can actually reduce their fixed costs. Another organization, Dropbox, has actually repatriated workloads back from the cloud and they estimate their market value was impacted by $100 billion according to a recent survey by Anderson Horowitz. 
Winning organizations are leveraging the right combination of technology to ensure that these nightmare scenarios never come true. One such example is Login Enterprise, which is the only solution on the market to create these benchmarks and continually understand and monitor your performance in a new cloud-native world. Greater visibility into resource allocation and improved cost prediction is the only way to stop the silent price creep that so many organizations are facing going into 2023. Please let me know your thoughts by dropping a comment or finding me on LinkedIn. And lastly, have a happy new year. Hello, I'm Stephen Mee, the co-founder and CEO of Ahana, the company for Presto open source project. And my prediction for 2023 is that the cloud providers are going to be investing and even going on the offensive on the open source uh, development side. So far, they've been accused of being more of the strip mining companies out there taking open source, but we'll see them look to find a better balance as they contribute more to open source and even make open source projects uh, uh, donated themselves. So excited to see 2023 happen and uh, happy new year, everyone. Hi, VM blog readers. My name is Mark Banfield. I'm the CEO here at 1E, the leader in digital employee experience. As businesses look back on 2022 and plan for 2023, leaders need to continue innovating to better completely understand the digital employee experience, also known as DEX. In the year ahead, I anticipate that organizations will look to focus on two major areas, how DEX fits into the future of work and the use of productivity surveillance tools. DEX technology will continue to serve employees and create innovative ways for IT to shape the future of work. Leaders across all industries and organizations have witnessed firsthand the impact of employee experience has on their culture, retention rates, and recruiting efforts. However, as companies make the decision to go back to the office and collaborate in person, 2023 will serve as an investment year into EX and DEX platforms to better prepare and set companies up for the future of success. In an office setting, we'll see DEX platforms help provide better overall EX, better security, and enable productivity across the enterprise. Productivity surveillance will continue to be at the forefront of employees' and employers' minds. We'll continue to see this method of leadership and productivity tracking questioned and debated. Those leaders who do not take a hard look at the productivity surveillance technologies, practices, and data will risk losing out to their competitors. When you spy on people, you trade trust, culture, and morale for sketchy data and a productivity theater. From all of us here at 1E, we hope you have a very happy and healthy holiday season and a fantastic start to the new year. Hello, my name is Tyler Shields. I am the head of corporate development and strategic alliances here at Jupiter One. The next big thing in cybersecurity is gaining access and visibility into context to help inform your program. And what I mean by that is traditionally cybersecurity programs have lacked uh, asset visibility, have lacked context, have lacked data around what they have at any given moment. And when we get into the cloud world, that has only been exacerbated. And so I think in 2023, we're going to see a increase, a significant increase in the amount of context and data that we're going to be able to apply to our security decisions. And that context is going to be imperative to increasing security of our enterprises. Cybersecurity in 2023 is going to get way more complex than it is today, both from a technology standpoint and a human capital standpoint and a political standpoint. Um, CISOs are going to have significantly more difficult times managing the quantity of attacks, the quantity of data, the ephemeral nature of their infrastructure. It's just going to make their life more difficult in 2023. Hopefully the tooling and technology will keep up in a way that at least keeps the CISO sane. I think there's two big areas of focus in, for cybersecurity in 2023. Cloud security, because we've only really just begun the transition into cloud. Cloud is is new. As much as people think that cloud security has been around, or cloud in general has been around for a while, we've only just begun the transition. Enterprises have only just begun the transition to cloud deployments. 
most enterprises I talk to are maybe 10 or 20 percent down that that path. So cloud security will continue to increase and grow to be the most important thing in 2023 and beyond. Second to that, if we talk about applications and application security, I think the transition to cloud is going to increase the number of applications that enterprises have to secure exponentially in the next two years. And because of that, API security or the communication paths between all these components will become an extremely important cybersecurity focus over the next two years. Hi, I'm Dan Krantz, Chief Information Officer for Keysight Technologies. 2023 will see significant advancement in the form of digital twins being superimposed on physical systems. This mixed reality will bring numerous benefits to various sectors ranging from healthcare to manufacturing to retail. So for example, imagine if a surgeon can operate with an AI assistant providing input on human anatomy and patient history instead of having to recall these details from memory. This sounds futuristic, but work is already underway to make this a reality. So expect to see more companies cropping up next year to help further blur the line between the physical and the virtual worlds.